the Chinese government has imposed countersanctions against a number of Americans, including current and former officials, marking the first time Beijing has implemented such legislation. On Friday, the Chinese government placed former U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross on a blacklist, in retaliation for U.S. penalties imposed on Chinese officials over the alleged crackdown in Hong Kong. In addition to Ross, a number of current and past U.S. officials have been sanctioned by Beijing. Many have led the Congressional Executive Commission on China, the U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission, and the National Democratic Institute for International Affairs. These are the first sanctions levied under China's anti-foreign sanction law, which was passed in June. According to reports, the law permits Beijing to retaliate if foreign countries impose sanctions on Chinese persons and businesses. The announcement comes just days before U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman travels to China as part of an official trip to Asia that includes stops in Japan and South Korea. Last week, Washington imposed penalties on seven Chinese officials accused of undermining Hong Kong democracy. According to Internet profiles, all of the sanctioned persons were deputy directors at the liaison office. In recent years, the two countries have traded diplomatic blows, with the U.S. frequently resorting to targeted sanctions. China has sworn to keep its citizens and businesses safe from American meddling.